Welcome to another episode of Peace Elite. This. Hold on. I can get the wrong time. Daryl don't care. Daryl. Episode 103. All right, Jen, we're going live. We're starting. Red lights on, Jen. Red lights on. All right. Red lights on. Let's go. Episode 103. Mm hmm. Daryl, I need the energy better. We talked about this last time. What was that? Get him. Yeah. Word is what we're going to do. Episode. <laughs> One hundred and three. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Welcome to another episode of Please Delete This. Uh, mm-hmm. In the building, partially, we have Darren, Bim, <laughs> Genevieve. Hey. Hey. So good people. Um, Jen is our correspondent on the street, who's going to be our eyes and ears, checking out the latest Airbnbs. <laughs> Jen, what can you tell us yes. out there? I can tell you the streets is empty out here. B, it's just wild. Wow. I feel like she's on the street like this. <laughs> With the earpieces. <laughs> <laughs> Rioting behind her. <laughs> uh, it's wild out here, friends. <laughs> for I anyone wondering. Drinking. For anyone wondering, Jen is not in jail. No. Although it sounds like a collect call from jail. Oh, it does. <laughs> Max B. Jen, Jen, do you want to let the people know where you are? Unlike the other two fools, I'm actually listening in social distancing. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in a room with them recording. I'm somewhere else. In your bunker. <laughs> on. In your bunker. But you're not alone, though. Be quiet. <laughs> so is it really social distancing? <laughs> they told oh, us. Did we lose her? I think we did. How'd that happen? That was fast, too. Ah. Oh, that's trash. Jen. Oh, hello? She's hey. back. Oh, we lost you for a second. Oh, I, I wasn't social distancing from everybody, just from you two. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, and there you have it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the Russell Road is fine in my book. Just these no movies. offense, Ben, but you were just on a plane like 72 hours ago. Like, I'm not here to play games with you, motherfuckers. And so, <laughs> were you not in your work office? Right. So sure, that's not the most sanitary. Nobody in place. my nobody in my office travels. What that got They to do don't with leave. Anything? They don't leave Cumberland. <laughs> Literally, they don't. <laughs> I'm safe. So anybody that's been on a plane, don't go near you, my G. Literally, yes. But Jen, look, man, we talked about this last week, and we don't got to stay on it. But we all have it already. <laughs> it's all in us. It's in you. Deep inside you. <laughs> I'm trying to get inside me. I'm trying eh, to... Eh, eh. That's not distancing. That is the opposite Let's of distancing. <laughs> That's closure. Is that allowed? Is that even allowed? Because I haven't done it. Because I feel like it's not allowed. So. What do you mean is that allowed? I don't, I don't know. I don't saying. know. Darren, have you been doing it? <sighs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say I'm just gonna yes yes. We have found the time. We have snuck away from the children, and who's currently crying right now. And we found some <laughs> alone time distance. to you know pass our germs on to one another. So yeah, we had a little mm. bit of time. God bless. How about you, Bim? Oh come on, man! You know I don't follow the rules. I was just on a plane. Right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna do me. Yeah. Yeah, so I, know she. <laughs> I know that's right. I'm gonna do me. So. I know that's right. So they've shut down um, all the schools, which obviously impacts my wife, who's a teacher, and the girls. Uh, so the girls have been with us all week, and the boys, the daycare is closed. So it's been my wife and the four kids at home. <laughs> oh dear! And God bless her soul, because I would have somebody would have been kicked out by now. Yeah. Hey, hey. yeah. The person to kick out would be you, Darren. It would be. Because <laughs> I, I almost kicked you out of my life. <laughs> times you know, wow. The last couple of days have been like turmoil between Jen and I. Because I, I'm not on the same. I feel like. We're in different ends of the spectrum as far as this goes. Well, uh, uh, yeah, we knew about you since the last episode. Where you're just yeah. like, hey, what's the problem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's the problem? Hold on, Jack. I can't lick your fingers, no. Uh, so I feel like Bim is right in the middle. Bim is is. No, he's know, not in the middle. No, he is. No, I'm I'm a, I'm aware. That's the yes. thing. Like I'm aware, and I know where the different sectors of life and whatnot are impacted. Um, and I've come to terms. So Darren is almost like aloof in a good way, but in a scary way. I literally way. called him aloof today, and I, oh. texted him, I told Helena, I said, oh. I, I'm tired of him. He's aloof. I'm tired of him. Like, Look at us using the same Darren adjectives. 
<laughs> when I gotta dig deep into the Nigerian bag of words, that's how you know I mean it. <laughs> She's serious, man. I just I just don't Whoa. understand what all this is really about. Like what 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 the, Jen, do we have to do it again? No, 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 Absolutely, because if I was married to you, shit. Wow. I would have had two separate pens to sign this divorce paper because I'm not even sharing pens with you because you clearly don't understand and you're going to bring germs into my bubble. Get out of here. Bye. So, with that said, we felt like we still had to record a podcast for you, our listeners. Hell yeah. I definitely felt that. Yeah, so we made it work. We made it happen. It may not sound as wonderful as it used to, but we're going to make it damn funny. Oh, I don't know about that either. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna be here. Uh, make it funny. We're, we're funny. Oh. At the very least, it's gonna be something to listen to that's not the news. There you go. Them do. And not even not even just news. ESPN, mm. any other thing that would have been on. Mm. Like it's taking mm. over everything, man. Mm-hmm. So I've just been watching movies and shit. Mm. And we, per Darren's mm. recommendation, I watched Sonic the Hedgehog today. Oh, what great. a film. It was good, man. It brought you back to your youth, huh? Like oh, man, so much so. And when when he got the sh- uh, spoiler alert, I guess if anybody <laughs> I guess. is looking to see Sonic, but uh, when he you know got his the, the sh- way he got his shoes, yeah. I was like, oh man, oh man, oh, man. I was hitting so much less. Look, he got the shoes. Yeah, I was hype, man. And then at the mm-hmm. end, yep. ah uh, man, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nah, it's fire. There was applaud in the theater at the end. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. And Jen, when are you gonna see it? Not sure. Oh. I'm still trying to get through McMillions. That's a good one. Oh. Thank you, Ben, once again. Oh, that I was thought, good. How many episodes uh, in are you? I think we're on five. We're so five. Oh, okay, so you're almost there. I think there was only six of them. Yeah, there was six, yes. We're, we're at the end of five. Yeah, can, now, can you imagine all that was taking place while we were trying to win a damn a uh, million dollars or, or a car or some shit? Like, that's... Come man. over here, you all right trying to, trying to win some shit? Right. And and nope, we had no chance because of them, them uh, Italians and them, the mobsters. Mm. I'm not gonna say what I thought. She said, say. "Oh, uh, maybe, maybe they exploit." He said, mm, "What he said?" No, I said I'm not gonna say what I thought in my head mm. about that time. So, oh dear, yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah I'll keep it there. Um, um, so you guys had a good weekend? Yeah, uh, <laughs> as Jen said. Question. Oh, nobody had a good weekend. I did. I did. I had a great weekend. <laughs> Darren did. I did. What's going on with you, fam? We still alive. We can have fun still. <laughs> Shit, like Jen said, I was on a plane. Mm. I went down to see my brethren. Uh, shout out to John. Shout out yeah. to Shenny. Shout yeah. out to Mide. Shout out to yeah. H. Yeah. Shout out to Tosin, of course, yeah. uh, being wonderful hosts. We had a good time in Maryland <clears throat> this weekend. And shout out to my big bro, Wale, down there. We celebrated his birthday. Yeah. Had some good steak. Hey. Not mm. Wale Fuja. Um, one of my mm. other brothers, Tosin's older brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we're still A. Yeah, A, A to the squash. And, um... Every time, or most of the times when me and the guys link up, we try to get a very good meal. We like to go somewhere and get something to eat. And I heard yeah. about this steak, because we were talking about steak that last time, mm. you you uncivilized people. <laughs> There's um a steak that I saw called uh, Wagyu Ooh, Steak. Bim, you oh, Wagyu Steak? Oh, oh, that's so you know about it. I know about it. I've been seeing a lot about these Wagyu Steaks. You know? Jen, do you know Wagyu? You know what's funny? Oh. It's funny. I was watching a game show today. Mm-hmm. And it was like, what are the two top choices of steak? And I initially guessed Wagyu, but that wasn't one of the options. Oh, look at you. Because I know that I've seen that on the burgers at like Lux. They mm. get the Wagyu burgers mm. at like $15 on yeah. the regular burgers. Like are they that. legit Wagyu though? Yeah. No, this, no? Yeah, this spot was legit because it was a pricey spot we went yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, for those who don't know, so like if you've eaten steak before, mm-hmm. you know, you know, if uh, before it's cooked, you can see where the meat is, you can see like the fat along the edge. Not you vegans. Oh, wow. Maybe, I'm sure they have like a soy version that looks the same. Uh, so, or it's unbelievable called, version. Called, What's the thing called? No. Unmistakable? Impossible. In, in, oh, impossible. Impossible. <laughs> no ghoul burgers. No, no ghoul steak. <laughs> no ghoul. Sorry. <laughs> funny. Um, so, yeah, you, uh, you have your st- uh, standard steak. It's like pink, and then you have like the fat around the edge. Mm-hmm. Wagyu steak mm. is the meat, and you have the fat 
mm -hmm. through the veins and rendered all inside mm -hmm. the meat as well. Mm -hmm. So imagine, uh, meat eaters, that that bite of steak. Sure. Oh, sorry. Oh, we can't do anything about that. Yeah, we could. Well, go ahead, continue. Oh, because if you mute that, you mute her. Yeah, no, continue. Go. Oh, okay. Sorry. About the um, so what was I saying? Steak. Steak. Okay, so that bite. So when you get that bite of steak where you get the corner piece that got a little bit of fat and you got the steak and it's like tender and juicy, but then you get the... Imagine that for every single bite of the steak. Amazing. Best steak. I, I hate the fat. That's, I cut that part off. What? What? Oh, see, so yeah, you, yeah, that's why you like your shit well done. <laughs> you don't want any juiciness anywhere. But yeah, that's the dairy. Yeah, you seen a picture of it? I don't like yeah. the fat. Yeah, you see how it's all. Mm, yeah, I actually watched a little documentary and how they they raise it on a mm -hmm. certain island. Yeah, it eats nothing but yep. olive oil. And, oh, 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 so good. At least, if you listen to what we're saying, Matt, we're <laughs> excited about eating an animal who has been raised for me. For me, <laughs> raised for me. <laughs> raised. For it me. eats nothing <laughs> that I don't want it to eat. Mm. And it's for me. For my pleasure. For, not for yours. And we thank God for you. And we thank God. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I enjoyed a fellowship my weekend, uh, with my brothers this weekend. Enjoyed delicious steak. But I must say, the airport was desolate. Mm. Yeah, we are uh, um, flying out of B, uh, BWI. Uh, B, yeah, BWI and, um, mm -hmm. down there in Maryland. It's usually busy. It's like one of the hubs, I think. Mm -hmm. Um they close all the gates except for one, or not gates, What's the, where you um, check in on security check. Okay. They close all of them except for one. They, wow. There was no TSA pre-check. Wow. I don't know if that was a staffing issue, but you know, they just had one. Mm. I never saw that before. And um, yet yeah, barely anybody walking around mm. and uh, getting food. I think I told you guys in the chat, mm. uh, in, the, <laughs> in the food court. Mm. Been to that food court a million times. It's busy here, poor people eat all over. McDonald's had a line, Chipotle had a line, mm. other spot had a couple of people, and there's this Asian restaurant on the end. Mm. Not a soul. The workers were bored sitting on the desk mm. just on their phones. On the desk. Yeah, yeah, they were bored. Mm. So that's the other effect of this, my Asian people, man. So hold your heads, y'all, if uh, mm. if you're getting the tail end or getting the residuals from this shit. One right. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get anything. Because the student president keeps calling it the Chinese virus. Right. Right. I don't know why they keep letting him do that. Yeah, and I, and I get that's the country it originated in, but there it has a name already. So why would like he he purposely said, "Nah, I ain't gonna call it that, fam. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna say them. <laughs> I know it existed before, but no, they did it. No, 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 it's yeah. them. Fucked no. up. He's a Aww. fucked up guy. I'm gonna get bottles for tomorrow. Just... It says it says right on the Lysol bottles. This can fight human coronavirus. Like this isn't new. Right, it's been around. That's been on the on the labeling. So. If it already has a name from before, just because that guy's a dickhead. He's a dickhead. He's a dickhead. Literally. He didn't he didn't like his roommate named Lee, probably. That's why oh, he's taking it up. You were saying something. Sorry. I don't know what I was saying. Shit, my bad, because I wanted to I don't remember. Oh, damn it. Sorry. Oh. Jen, do you remember what I was saying? Oh, you said you're gonna order Chinese no. food. I'm gonna order Chinese food tomorrow. I am too. Hey. I am too. Shout out hey. to uh, China Star on um, uh, uh, Reservoir. Yes. That's my spot. Oh, yeah. You oh, yeah. yeah. That's my spot. I watch some kids grow up there, man. I'm going to get some food. <laughs> don't even worry about it, y'all. I don't know your names, but I'm going to go. Shit. Oh. I just, I don't, um, I don't know. Reservoir, oh, yeah. I, I don't even eat there that often. I know exactly what kids you're talking about. Yeah, they, they grown now. They in high school or something. Yeah. Hell, yeah. They grown now. That's crazy. It, it, it Yo, makes me man, happy. Just go to it makes me happy. That's funny. You know? Yeah, they they taking the orders. They taking the cash. You know, they're very efficient. They're good. They even answer the phone, yo. Them and the kids at Golden Palace on Branch Ave, which Golden Palace is going now. They got moved twice. Damn. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. So first they was on one side of Branch Ave. And then I guess um, Cumberland Farms was coming. Mm. And so they bought out that little plaza that was there and they moved them across the street and they like I, they probably paid to like move them across the street into this other little spot. Wow. And they was in there, they were just starting to get all popping, and then I guess the loft building is getting remodeled. So they knocked that whole part of the building off. Shit. No love for them. <sighs> yeah. But it's wild. So we've been supporting these folks since we for years, if we're watching kids grow up. Mm -hmm. Don't turn your back, mm -hmm. y'all. Mm -hmm. Don't don't do that. That ain't right. Mm -hmm. That ain't right. You Some would say not, it's racist. Who's not losing bit? Oh, choking on oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, 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 hands up, hey, hey. hands up, hands up. <laughs> elephant, <laughs> elephant, will you do that? Pineapple, <laughs> <Slide out. laughs> I'll just do sneezes. Oh. You know who's not losing money? Oh. Asia Grill, where we go do karaoke. Oh, they still popping? That's just, that's just still popping. Really? 
Kenny, you alright, man? Hey. Hell yeah. Drink some water, yo. You sound Who like alcohol. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh you yeah, so you're on page with us. Did you even sip yours yet, Darren? I did, I've been sipping. No, I said I won't go and drink. Darren yeah, is yeah. a whole B word. He ain't sipping nothing. Oh shit, which B word? You know which one? Gen Black Republican? Wow. Huh? Wow. What? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of butterfly, your boy's leaving the uh, Patriots, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yo, wow. I forgot Peace about that. Free. Yeah, free bird. Jen, as the Patriots fan, wow. tell us how you feel. Mm-hmm. Come on. Well, I was saying earlier. No Tom. Are you, I was you, a Patriots fan before no Tom, Tom came. Terrific. No Tom. What do you mean? And I'll be a Patriots fan after he leaves. Tampa? The Buccaneers? The Bucks? Tampa's Tampa's the like common tree of Florida. I don't understand why he would want to go the there. Common tree of Florida. <laughs> but you know, I want no, nah, no, nah, because I can't do that because I was in Tampa. Uh, shout out to Danny. He took me to a Bucks <laughs> oh, yeah, game. Yep, yeah, I remember that. Some cool people in Tampa, so I, I won't do that. It's great climate. I'm not saying there's no cool people there, but it's but not Cumberland like a major ain't. city. <laughs> Cumberland ain't it, neither. <laughs> Tampa at least no, got a team. It's not like a major city. It's just a city. They got a team. In Florida. They got a team. They got a s- stuff. Florida stuff. has a lot of teams. They got like three teams. They got Jacksonville, they got Miami, and they got Tampa. I don't know that why. That is true. Yeah, that's true. And and uh, the U, Miami University, you can count them as a team damn near. True. The amount of attention. They really can. Get. Uh, yeah, but Florida State. But no, I mean us, it's just a football, a football state. T- tell us, no, but, no, but yeah, let's talk about Tom now because they they're gonna add to that cachet with with Tom. So what's up? Somebody was saying to me at work. One of my bosses was saying that he heard that Tom went to Tampa Bay because Tampa Bay. Oh no, actually, Darling was telling me that um, Tom wants to bring Antonio Brown. Oh yeah, to Tampa I, Bay. yeah. Actually, I did see that for a second when um. Uh, when the news was first breaking. Yeah, my one of my bosses was like, because um, I was saying it like, yo, that's crazy. But he was like, you know, the coach Tampa Bay apparently coached Antonio Brown before at Pittsburgh or something. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, like, oh, so that's a, a credible statement then. Yeah, uh, actually, I can't remember his name, but I think I did see that. Which, And <clears throat> football is a business, and you're trying to get people in the stadium to pay tickets. Right. To pay for tickets. So if you can get Tom Brady and Antonio Brown, even if they don't win one game, you're gonna get asses in the seats. You're gonna make money, and then and they win. So good for them. Um, Tom was getting old. I feel like he should have just retired, and maybe going to Florida is his version of going to retirement. I don't know. Oh shit! Look at how he put. Look at how he did that and got thirty mil. He's smart. See what I'm saying? He's smart. Mm. He's gonna get a whole extra thirty million. And no one's really expecting anything from him because it's Tampa Bay. So it's like even if they don't win, nobody's gonna come at him. They're like, oh, it's Tampa Bay. So, but Good here's for him. So here's here's my thing though. Like, they didn't make it to uh, to the Super Bowl or you know anything like that. Um, and he wanted right. to come back for for another ring. So going out the way that he did. I, I didn't understand why not just retire if you weren't going to be a Patriot unless you were going somewhere that was a real contender for the uh, for the Super Bowl. I don't need to be a contender if I got thirty million extra dollars in my pocket. Does that? I mean, money is great. Eh, you know, you, yeah, you know, you could be rich already. Thirty million is thirty million. Thirty million is thirty fucking million, bro. God dang. Oof. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. Now nah, I can't knock it. You get to play again. You get to bring all the hype. And you know what? If they do perform well. <coughs> That, you're um, the hero. Right, you're the hero. And it steals from the legacy of Belichick a little bit because now everybody's talking about like uh, their relationship and, and uh, uh, right. you know, Belichick wanting Brady gone since like, what, three, two seasons ago or some shit? Um, so he can get Jimmy G in. So, I mean. And if you lose, everybody goes, oh, well, it was Tampa Bay. What did you expect? Uh, well, some people. So other people may say, damn, you ain't shit without Belichick. At the end of the day, even people say that, he still has $30 million in his pocket to go home. <laughs> that's a fact. I ain't mad at him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> now nah, he, nah, he winning. He winning, period. Mm-hmm. But I was not expecting that. Darren. Though. Oh, Darren. I wasn't either. I was like, Buccaneers. Yeah, no. Nah, that's that, still a team. Yeah, I thought if anything, he would have headed out west because he got a crib, mm-hmm. a crib in um, L.A. or Cal- somewhere in Cali. So he's from there. He's from Cali. Yeah. And so uh, Shani was kind of saying, hey, uh, Niners, Niners, come on now. But that would have been weird. Uh, Jimmy G wasn't going to take a seat twice. Nah. 
Uh, that, that would not imagine that would be disrespectful. <laughs> wow, disrespectful. So, so Darren pulled a U. He had to go upstairs for some reason. So it's you and I. Hold me a day. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, so, per usual, you don't have anything that you did over the weekend. Mm-mm. And we're not going to talk about the other thing because we're not trying to raise anybody's anxiety. But including mine, including yours for sure. But you are still working. Mm-hmm. Is is it in the office that you're in? Like. <laughs> Is there a lot of people? Because I saw some funny ass no. memes, like with that snitching ass black dude saying me calling the governor because my job has more than a hundred people here. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, is is that a situation where no. like, what's it looking like? Just a handful. So our of building, our, our building is kind of split. So there's the warehouse and then there's the the back office where I am. Yeah. So the back office is there's four of us, and then we have two bosses. So it's six of us total. Two bosses are in their own separate offices, literally, and then okay. the four of us are in cubicles. So it's like really separate. Um, you know, we don't touch each other because why would we? And <laughs> that's inappropriate. <laughs> I wash my hands, <laughs> right? And I wash my hands like every hour on the hour, literally. Were you always like um, that? So does everyone else? I've been like that for at least flu season because, um, oh. you know, I've been. I've been a little more susceptible to getting sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been really diligent because I'm like, I'm not trying to get the flu. I had like a mild version of the flu once. I actually got a flu um, shot one year and because it put the flu in you. Yeah, why'd you get that I had shit, a mild yo? Flu. That's a, it's a conspiracy. Yeah, so, <laughs> right. So when I, one year I got it, I got sick and the doctor was like, oh, you have a mild flu. And I was like, well, that's stupid. So ever since then, I never get the, the flu shot. Yeah. Um, and so I've just been really diligent about washing my hands up since like the beginning of the year and staying with people, not sharing nothing, whatever, whatever. Wipe this stuff down. Um so when this hit, yeah, it's just been like heightened. Yeah, no, that's a fact. We um and uh as you know, I was with the guys over the weekend. Anytime somebody coughed or sniffled mm. or cleared their throat, we were all just <laughs> looking ready to just ready to oust the motherfucker. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, it's, just, it's just different, man. So I know at my job, they just um, issued a level three, four, whatever. And we can get off of this after this. But they're shutting the building down on Monday. You guys haven't heard mm-hmm. that some uh, that kind of talk? Not yet. Oh, ah, OK. And the thing is, the owner of the company, he's been coming and meeting with us, too. So it's like, OK, we're here risking it all. But you're here risking it all with us, too. So it's kind of like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We go down. The owner goes down. But, you know, we... But, you know, we, like I said, we keep our space. The guys in the warehouse, same thing. It's not that many people there. They laid off some of the people, unfortunately. So it's very few people out there. Oh, oh, damn. So you guys Um, were impacted by, like, the layoffs during this time and shit? Yeah, which is crazy because even with the recession, um, you know, the company was always very proud that we didn't lay off one person during a recession. Yeah. So... We've had to lay some people off because the malls have closed. Right. We have a couple of stores and malls. Ah, uh, um, okay. Stuff like that. Um, some of the drivers, because we're not taking any shipments. Yeah. Um, so we don't have that much product to deliver. You know, stuff like that. Um, it's 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 kind of wild because you're seeing it from both ends, like from the business end. People are like, oh, why are you still open? Right. It's like cause people are still shopping. Believe it or not. Oh yeah. And people need stuff to settle their minds. Shit. Right, and having some money is better than having no money. To exactly. which, every two weeks, there's payroll that has to get paid. There's <clears throat> bills that have to be paid. So, even if you only make X amount of dollars and it's half of what you made last year, it's more than zero. Right. To pay into those bills, so it's true. You know, we in here, we fighting. We got orders to do next week. We got, I got orders due tomorrow. I gotta get in. You know, so. Shit. And our orders are. Like nine months in advance, like I'm ordering for a holiday, so I can't just not go in because holiday is one of the biggest seasons. Yeah, like gotta get the shit done. You can let me know where heat is coming, yo, off mic. Of course, of course. <laughs> God bless, beloved. Of course. <laughs> I'm back. Darren's back. Nah, yeah, I won't say it so, but I won't say a word, beloved. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's bike. I am back. Darren bike. Who cares? I am back. He said, who, who cares? Who cares? <laughs> 
<laughs> Fuck you, Jim. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what? Fuck you. you. Know, I'm, I still got beef with Darren. Don't fuck him. Mm, tell him why you mad, my G. Yo, this nigga knows I'm on edge. Like, listen. On edge for no reason. People. Oh, Darren, don't, don't, Darren, don't combat it. No fuck reason. She's not here, so I feel, I feel a little bit. Yo, Darren more, feels more mad brolic without you here, yo. <laughs> a little bit of confidence. <laughs> He's... Tell me such a fuck off. <laughs> Tell you right, he can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so man. on <clears throat> on a regular good day, my anxiety is about a two, three. I'm not that That's high strong. On a scale of one to ten. Generally. Okay. If there's if there's something going on, let's say I have I don't know, life issues, work issues, money issues, love issues, whatever. I might get up to a five. Okay. Right. But it's still pretty relatively calm. Right. Um, maybe like six months ago, I ramped up to about a six. Just there was a lot going on in the world. So the norm went from a five to a six. I'm at six. Not even the norm. Norm went from two to a five. Oh, okay. Shit. And yeah. So I'm already at, on edge. Blood pressure's high. And then with this thing happening, right. now I'm at about 7.5. No, you're much Meaning higher than <laughs> you're, you're so much higher than the 7.5, Jen. <laughs> no, I was at 7.58. Then here comes Darren. No, with Jen. His you were at like a 9.2. fuck shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're putting me at a 10 because you're not letting me finish my conversation. Right. Get him. Shut, right. shut up. <laughs> Listen. So Darren has me all the way up to at least a nine what because asshole. he's he just doesn't understand what's going on and he's just like saying the most <laughs> for somebody who's high strung at this point i'm at, at least an eight you right. can't go with your nonsense so now i'm at at least 9.5 because of darren every time i talk to darren and been in the group chat i just get so stressed out i, I just throw the phone all right. <laughs> all right first of all i get what's going on so it's not like mm. uh, i don't know what's happening I get what's going on, and I still don't see the reason for the panic. Oh, boy. Especially so you don't you. get what's going on. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, Jen. By what you just said, you don't get what's going on. All right, Jen. All right. <laughs> we live in two different worlds. <laughs> no, we don't. It's one world. You just don't get what's going yeah. on. No, no, yeah. You're right. Just one flat earth, man. Yeah. We all here together. <laughs> we all here together. One flat earth. <laughs> We're no birds. Really, Ben? <laughs> what? Really, Ben? What's the problem here? We're not together on this Friday? <laughs> We're all in this together. <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyway, talk about what you want to talk about. Y'all want to podcast, we podcast and talk. I don't know. To round that up, I think you should just fight the nigga. But, you know, that's just me. You know, I like Basically, violence. once once I can touch him without getting hurt, I'm <laughs> It's on, nigga. But I don't need the sanitizer. I don't need this hazmat suit. <laughs> it is on. <laughs> Once I stop peeling dry skin from washing my hands, I'm punching in the face. Oh God! So I don't. My daughter heard me singing that. Now she's singing it too. Singing what? We all in this together. Oh, <laughs> stop listening. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Mim. She listened to the, wait. The, oh, she heard you on I, this. I think she's here. She's probably right there. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, what are you gonna say, bro? What 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 is on the docket to speak about, my friend Ben? Uh, sa- uh, sad, but rest in peace, Roger Mayweather, man. Uh, everybody know I'm a fight fan. Um, Roger Mayweather was uh Floyd Mayweather's uncle and uh was his trainer for. Oh yeah. Yeah, was his trainer for several years when um. Uh, Floyd and his uh, father weren't weren't speaking, weren't getting along. Roger Mayweather was right there with Floyd in the Olympics, all the way through to his professional career, well into his professional career, um, and then uh, um, you know coached alongside Floyd's dad. But then he he got ill a few years ago, um, and uh, you know I guess over the years just progressively got worse, and he passed away uh, um, over the weekend on Saturday or Sunday, I believe. So yeah, man, big fight fan. Um, you know, lent lent his hand in training a legend. Uh, so yeah, rest in peace, my Roger uh, Mayweather, man. Sad news, and that sucks, Floyd, because um, I think like uh, two weeks prior or three weeks prior, one of his son's parents, uh, one of his one of his son's mothers uh, passed away. So mm-hmm. yeah, he had a rough uh, a rough couple of weeks so far, man. So prayers to their family and whatnot. <clears throat> but, yeah, I do that for my boxing fans. <clears throat> that one. Speaking um, of which, oh, go ahead. I know this is a 
bad time to bring that up after the following event. But, um, <laughs> so we're going to talk about how we spell go wrong. Um, <laughs> See, no, not the time. Not the time. Table it. Table it. Oh. Jen, we're not, nope. There, uh, oh, Jen, we're going to table it. All right. At least give it a week. Let it breathe. You can't oh, say that been, after I. Week. No, you can't say after I just said what oh, I said. But it happened before. It's, it's been more than table, a week, it, it'll, still it, it'll still be funny. It'll still be funny. Just <laughs> just save it for next week. I hear a little sound of like. <laughs> <laughs> save it for All next right. week jen okay save it for when you're here <laughs> All right. so i have a little bit of buffoonery that i forgot to mention a while ago i've seen this story uh jen i'm pretty sure you yeah. i think me and you talked about it there is a headline that reads a woman claims a man kidnapped her forced her to watch roots oh it's true <laughs> <laughs> to understand yeah. her racism. Yeah, it's true. That happened during Black History Month. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He kidnapped her and forced her to watch Roots to uh-huh. understand her racism? Understand her racism. Now, <laughs> this happened in Iowa. <laughs> the man is a legend. Yeah. The man is a legend. Yeah, we salute this guy. He's, he's the G A O T. That's good, Jen. That's good. <laughs> That's good, Jen. <laughs> Man, if you were here, you'd get a big high five from me. Not from me. You probably wouldn't, wouldn't accept it. <laughs> oh, fuck. So 52-year-old Robert Lee Noy was arrested. A criminal complaint stated Noy forced the victim to watch the show, which is nine hours. Yep. <laughs> Long. That's about. it. <laughs> yeah, nine. well, it was just different. They broke it up. It was a different episode. Yeah, uh, I yep. thought it was more than nine hours because I know it was like mad VHS yeah. tapes because um, yeah. one of our <laughs> good friends yeah. um, told her family had all the tapes. Oh wow! And so when you put all the VHSs next to each other, it spelled roots yeah, yeah, on the yeah, binder. Yeah, 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 I remember that. And it was like seven different. Okay, so I, don't know more I had to say that. Okay, so yes, so it's nine hours. It's a mini series about slavery in the U.S. Uh, through the post Civil War era, so she could understand her ra- ra- racism. Oof. The complaint also stated that the suspect told the victim that he would kill her, quote unquote, <laughs> and spread her body parts across the inter Interstate 380 on the way to Chicago if she did not sit and watch the show. See, that's thre- that's taking it too far. You don't got threaten her too. <laughs> Two. So, but we're okay with everything leading up to the threat. Well, yeah, kidnapping is a bit much too, I guess. Yeah. I guess. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I mean, but you can kind of see where the brother's coming from. I, I mean, I just want to know what happened in his head. Some. Let me take. Go ahead, Jen. Let's we'll take some Jack. <laughs> I don't know about your mamas, but my mom kidnapped me and made me watch that bullshit too. That bullshit. Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm, I don't mean it like that, but I'm just saying when you're a little kid and you're like six years old and it comes on TV and we only had like four channels. Oh, I want to try. From. Yeah, I want. I'm gonna watch cartoons. I ain't watching that. And I don't want to watch that. And they're like, no, Roots is on for six days straight. And they're like, fuck. <laughs> just six days straight. You had no choice. <laughs> like, it should came up a mad days in a row. <laughs> The whole mini series. They should call it a major series. It wasn't mini. The one, no, what? Yeah, the Jackson one was a mini series. That shit was, yeah, yeah, that was too much. I never, I never seen it, and I actually watched it in school. When my mom would maybe watch it, I wouldn't pay attention because I was too young. Up oh, and oh, Jen, Jen we is lost gone. Jen, but we're gonna get her back. Darren's <laughs> gonna work on that. Nah, but nah. Uh, late, you don't want to get her back. I do, now. but <laughs> she has a link already. Oh, she's gonna. Okay, yeah. she has a rejoin. Yeah. Uh, shoot her a text, maybe, just in case you don't know. All right. Um, <clears throat> but uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, if you haven't seen Roots already, uh, just uh, kidnap a friend and have them sit oh, with you and watch you Roots. Oh, uh, there we go. There she's go. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I think they lost me. Now you uh, back. You, you back, back. You back. You can hear us. Oh boy, Jen. Jen, you can hear us. Yeah, you can hear us. Jen, oh, don't whisper anything incriminating. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear you here. All right, real quick, come on, dude. <laughs> right? <Pause. laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm <laughs> Jen, can you hear us? <laughs> you, Jen. You. Again, I say, don't whisper anything incriminating. Jen. 
This, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is fun. Hey, listeners, look at the extents we go through. Mm-hmm. For you. For you. For you. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. She said that? <laughs> In the text. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what were we saying, Ben? Oh, we were talking about roots. Yes. And so, okay. My my thing in my head was like, okay, uh, yeah, I, I see the woman and she she's going to understand her racism bad. today. Hey, there you are. Can you hear us? Yes. Uh, there we go. What hey. I was saying was in middle school, my teacher made us watch it in seventh grade, but he only made us watch the part where it dude from Star Trek. But then the part with the dude from <laughs> America, I didn't watch that part in school. Yo, yeah, I, I didn't know he was in it until after. Oh. Yeah, I only I only remember the part with uh, reading Rainbow Dude. Maybe I gotta re- rewatch it. <laughs> I didn't say reading Rainbow Dude, and you said the same thing at the same time. I was choked. <laughs> yeah, man, he's either reading reading Rainbow Dude or or Jordy from Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Levar Burton, that's my nigga. Oh yeah, Levar that is his name. But Darren, do you see what a brother? book is reading rainbow. I'm gonna stop there because I will take that one. Yo, who's saying that thing? I'm gonna right. find out. She one of the girls singing on Snoop Dogg albums. Uh, <laughs> one of the background singers on Doggy Style. <laughs> I know it's different from the usual line of work, but just if you could just put some razzle dazzle on this. Apparently, the chick who can you hear it? Can you guys hear it? Yep. Yeah. The, apparently, the chick who sang um, the. Amen theme song was the chick who was singing the hooks for De- for Defra. Get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? I was watching one of these locals channels and Amen was on. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, and that's my show. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, Darryl, what were your thoughts on the brother and the kidnapping? My thought... Like, okay, because I always have to put myself in a person's shoes. Mm. So I have to, I, you know what I mean? The, the, the white woman? The, no, no, no. Okay. The brother. Like, so to kidnap somebody, you got to, well, you got to be scoping that person out. Right. At least. So he sees the person and he's like, I right, she, her, she, she needs to know her. <laughs> And it takes her. Like, I want to know if he had a plan already. Like, somebody's going to watch Roots to understand their racism. Mm. Or did he, like, kind of make it up as he went along? Like, he was like, ah, and gonna go this way yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and sit there i'll cut your body out or... i'm sorry i need to interrupt <laughs> it's shaka khan who sings the reading rainbow song oh shit i didn't know that i ain't know and it. shaka khan is coming to twit well if she gets open back up she's supposed to come to twit in may oh that's in it oh may okay that's enough time is it the way they're pushing everything back. Yes. that's enough time oh. yeah think uh <laughs> see i didn't want to talk about it again uh but uh china they um i oh. think they didn't have any new cases today. Mm. Uh, Italy, there um, has gone down, yeah, mm. um, the new cases. So if their run, well, run is not the word, but if that stretch <laughs> was a, like, a, I don't know, what, like a three-week, two, three-week stretch, mm-hmm. and we started with ours, then we're probably at, like, the peak or mm-hmm. approaching the peak. Mm-hmm. So then it should be a sharp decline a couple of weeks, and we're cool. Mm-hmm. So as long as everybody does what it they're should be to. The, it should have been the peak, but did you see the video of the fools going to spring break and oh, all in that In Florida, nonsense? geez. Uh, the beach was packed there. Oh, <laughs> beach was my packed. God. And then these the kids. The video made me itch. <laughs> And the kids were like, I don't I care. This is my spring break. I don't right. care. And Darren's sitting here like. I've been playing this for two months. I've been playing this for Mad for hey, two Jen. months. Bitch. Hey, Jen. Yes. I'm snitching. Yes. I wish you were here. <laughs> Darren. You would definitely punch me in my Darren, face. Darren, right now, his face is like, so I don't see a problem. Like, I don't see a problem. <laughs> 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 I could just see Jeff's like, face oh, right yeah. now. We met these people in our Airbnb. You're in some stranger's yeah. house. Yeah. And then you met some more strangers. Yeah. And then you and these strangers want to be all close, high five and shit. I wouldn't have spring break any other um, way. Hey, Jen, let me ask, <laughs> Jen, can I ask you a question? Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. What's mm-hmm. Gonna, so when this dies down, is anything yes. in your daily life going to change as a result of all this stuff? When it dies down? Mm-hmm. No. No. What kind of question is that? Okay. Well, yes, because it's going to impact the business that I work in. It's going to impact my me financially, personally. Mm-hmm. So in that way, yes. 
Mm-hmm. But I mean, I guess more so for your hygiene habits. No, because I already told you, I've been doing this shit hardcore since January, but everybody's not me. Uh-huh. And that's the problem. That's where my anxiety <laughs> Okay. Is. If everybody was acting like me, mm-hmm. I would be straight. So you're... But they're not. They're, they're, they're flying uh-huh. to Florida to go meet strangers uh-huh. and, and fucking kiss. Okay. What are you talking about? Oh, and Darren, I think you missed it, but she said she was... Um, on edge during flu season even before this shit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think Yes, yeah. you missed that part. Yeah. So she she still would, would have been like So I, do, what I'm trying to I guess the reason why I don't like I'm not too worked up about this is mm-hmm. because I I after this is all said and done, right? Mm-hmm. The way this world is, you know, shutting down and quarantining and stuff like that and it's good that we're trying to to limit the spread of it. But I feel like there are other things in this world that are going to be spread in the same fashion that we're not going to go back to until it becomes an epidemic the way this is. And so, that, so that's the problem. It's, it's not that you, you spread the germs. Mm-hmm. Germs are spread regardless. Yes. It's the fact that they can be spread more easily and <clears throat> the faster. So if there's, it's kind of like, okay, when HIV AIDS came out, right? Mm-hmm. Popping. That was a thing. It was kind of like, whoa, that's, <laughs> you're stupid. It was like, whoa, that's, <laughs> that's just new. So this self-quarantining that they're asking people to do is kind of like them saying, hey, we don't want you in groups of 100 because it spreads faster that way. Kind of like, we don't want you having orgies with 100 people. It'll Pop spread it. faster that way. <laughs> but still, <laughs> but if you have se- if you have sex with one or two people, you still are at risk. But you're at much less risk of making it spread faster mm-hmm. than if you are having sex with a hundred people. Okay. You get what I'm saying? But because of the way society is, we're always in groups of a hundred people, and because of the way I know math. And probabilities. <laughs> that right, shit right. is fucking wild. It's different. It's so I I get that it's very different in your head than it is for mine, but understanding that you and your math world and how you <laughs> process that a lot quicker and better than I, <laughs> it makes me understand. Okay, like in, in your head, this is a lot bigger than I could ever imagine. So then I so I've I've made it a point to not try to rile you up about this and. I kind of understand. Why would you even want to rile somebody up? But it's not, so I'm not. <laughs> I'm not trying to r- rile you up. But if I say like, if, so I the I don't nope 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 <laughs> nope nope <laughs> nope <laughs> nope. I think Darren's logical brain is, and and not even just logical because it's a different type of logic. It is like the weighting on that side is very very heavy. Uh, based on his own personal feelings versus what the experience for others may be or with the the the, the things that are inducing right, the fear. Right, because he's, be. he's not, he's a, he doesn't see it as we're all connected. Right. Whereas me, I'm like, everybody's connected to everybody within six degrees of separation. But you Next. can't control the other person. You can be as clean no, as you, you want. No, I can't if, control the other person. I know, but okay, so me and Bim could be sitting here where clean as could be, Right. But right. the person right. at work who came in cr- across his wife, who came across uh, the person who had shitty was on a plane. bird flu, yeah. Yeah. I can't control me getting contaminated from that person, right? Exactly. It's going to happen regardless whether I'm clean, I'm washing everything or not. So by, right. to me, I, I think for somebody like you, you're just never gonna come out of your bubble because of the way no. it is working now. The odds increase when she leaves the house. Like the more, but, right. like me so going what on. What you're a, asking people is just literally give it two weeks, right? Because the mo- the maximum amount of time you will be sick is two weeks. Okay. So if everybody stopped touching each other <laughs> for two weeks, this virus would be <laughs> done. Right. Okay. Otherwise, what people are doing is okay. I have it for three days. Now I'm passing to someone else for three days. Now I'm so it goes longer. Whereas if everyone just stops doing what they're doing for two weeks, kind of like HIV and AIDS, if you stop fucking for a year, we would stop spreading HIV. But people can't stop fucking for a year. So now HIV goes out forever. That's, time that's what they're trying to do with this, Darren. Yeah. They're just trying to make people stop for a couple weeks. I get it. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? I do. So I'm not even really as concerned about me getting sick because the way I'm washing my hands, the way I've been washing my hands... You know, because it's more like if you get it on your hands and you eat and you put it in your mouth, uh, that's the that's that's what it causes. You know what I mean? But 
So, okay. I'm more afraid of running out of food. <laughs> <laughs> well, stop eating them big ass breakfasts anxiety. on Sunday. Right. Then. <laughs> yeah, breakfast, you guys. When my anxiety came in Monday morning, I was like, "Yo, if they make us stay home, do I have enough food to survive?" That's where I started freaking out. Mm. Did Did you go off so and go I'm, shopping to buy a bunch of shit? Nigga, I got to work two fucking hours late. I went to the <laughs> store. <laughs> Oh, wow. Let me take some jack. God damn, a whole two hours? Did you even let them know you're going to be late? I guess. Uh, I told my boss. I, you know, I was probably like an hour late. I'm not exaggerating. But I texted him and I said, I'm actually having a hard time this morning. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I might be between 30 minutes to an hour late. But I'm just letting you know. And so I was going to go to work. But then I was like, you know what? I'm right here next to Shaw's, next to my house. So I went to Shaw's. It was Monday morning. It was right after that whole everybody's running out of toilet paper. I wasn't that freaked out over the weekend. Over the weekend, I was fine. Monday morning, shit just seemed real all of a sudden. And I was like... Yeah, it did take a little bit to settle <sighs> in. Um, yeah, Monday morning, shit just felt different. So I went to the store. I spent way too much money. Got a bunch of shit. But I know, no matter what, I won't starve to death. <laughs> well, that's cool. And then when I got to work, I got to work and they were like, oh, but they said no matter what, they're not shutting out supermarkets. I'm like, well, I wish I knew that fucking 90 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> but you know what? They still might do like a, a straight up uh, um, quarantine shit. So where everything shut yeah, down. Yeah, I got an email today that Ikea shut down for the for two weeks now. Yeah. yeah. The, School is shut down the, in yeah. Boston until April 27th, Darren. Are you not listening? 27th? <laughs> shit. They shut, they shut down April the schools down here to the, to the third. To the third, right. Yeah. But they're doing remote school uh, until you're uh, right. Till Darren, we've trip. been we've been we've been alive for a long time. You ever had school shut down for six, five, four, three weeks at a time? Mm, we if, only summertime. <laughs> Darren, we, Darren, what are you gonna say, beloved? I forgot. It ain't the Rona. <laughs> Something got in my throat. <laughs> Darren, what are you gonna say? I forgot. <laughs> Shut up, Jen. I don't give a shit what it is. I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, Jen, you see? You see? You see? Nah, I think people would just be like <clears throat> spraying their phones or headphones every time I... Could be right. Every time I... <laughs> 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 Oh, it's all about Ron. <laughs> Speaking of which, y'all been hearing any of these uh, these songs? Son. Yo, hold on. This white boy was body in his. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the name of the song is Quarantine Pussy. Oh, <laughs> oh I love Mark. Oh, oh you know God. this guy? I'm Mark Rubio, yo. <laughs> hold on. This white boy was getting it, yo. Hey. 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You hear that white soul? Mm-hmm. Blue oh. white soul. One more time. Hey. Hey. Ha. Ha. That's my guy. Say what? Say what? Yeah, I wonder what the... um. Quarantine baby names are going to be. Like, <laughs> for all... You know what I'm saying? Rona, when you, obviously. When you do the math... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What month would it be, Jen, where where we have the baby boom from the corona period? Mm. Like a good December, January. December, January? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hospitals are going to be packed again. Well, Shit. we know those people... Mm -hmm. with, <laughs> you know those people with kids are not the ones really... Um, Fucking like that, cause it sounds like a personal thing, Darren. It, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hide from nobody in this house. No one. You're trying to hide it's, from everybody. I'm too. trying to <laughs> trying to get a little bit of love, and then they just walk into the room, just can't even walk straight, legs all wobbly, just like, hey, oh. hey what, what you doing? It's not you got mad kids in the Yo, house. Man. <laughs> you got mad Yo, man. The worst thing <laughs> Clara could attest is um. You know, you're like, damn, let me get a snack. And you get a bag of chips or some cookies, and you sit down. As soon as you open up, the two of them are, ah, ah, <laughs> ah. Like, man, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Take shout it to the bathroom next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no door. I'm still oh, looking yeah. at the door. You it's right around. here. <laughs> um, but definitely shout out to those people who are stuck in the house quarantining with their family. Uh, I know you're going a little crazy, but almost out of this. We'll get through it together, right? Yeah, a few right. more weeks. Right. 
But super shout out to all the doctors and nurses, man. Yes. Pulling mad hours. Oh, man. Uh, exposing themselves. Yes. Anybody in the um, medical related field, not even just doctors and nurses. Like, uh, I know. Uh, Anyone Drina. working in a hospital, just in general. Yeah, Drina still got to go in. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. uh, my son's mother still got to go in. Like, mm. anybody that's still got to go, like, to yep, a hospital yep. or, or do it. Yep, health yep. facility. Uh, shout out to y'all, man. Do it for us, man. Mm. I'm watching TV at home in, in, in your honor. <laughs> and this pod's for you. <laughs> this goes out for right. you, you. Like I mean, you. we talked about early in the week, and I was like, no matter what, I really need the pod because, like I said, the anxiety level from everything going on in the world is so high for me, and I know I'm not the only one. Right. You know, and I know it's people who who look to us for an escape from crazy shit going on in the world. Show, yes. no. um, yeah, correct. I don't know why. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but shout out to you. Yeah, it's either, it's either but, us um, or cat videos. So, you know, I think they'll take look Cat us. videos? Yeah, it. people love cat videos. <clears throat> That's true. <laughs> so I'll also say at this time, um, we thank you for listening and rocking with us, as you usually do. Um, hit us up on social media, P-L-S-D-E-L-T-H-I-S on Instagram. On Twitter, the same handle. On Facebook, we'll please leave this. On YouTube, we'll also please leave this. Uh, make sure you check us out. Subscribe, share, listen on your favorite favorite streaming platforms such as Spotify, Speaker, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Podcast App, so on and so forth. So make sure you do that. Also, follow our friends over at Salita the Soap. Um, Salita the Soap is where art meets soap in a natural, organic way. They specialize in soap baskets and solution products uh, such as rose water and beard oil. 100% of the soap products can be customized to your shape, colors, herbs, organic oils, type of soap, and fragrance. Uh, your order is created by you. We just put heavy love in it. So definitely shout out to them and, and uh, check them out. Did you get a chance to try the soap? I was going to say, a shout out to Salita. Uh, what do you say? What's it called? Salita Soap. Salita Soap. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Jen, he doesn't that. listen. He still I'm doesn't listen, right. Jen. I'm gonna get it. What's the Solita? Is that the name or just the, that is the, the name of it? Solita. What's like half soul sister and and Alita and Alita? How about we get her on the show <laughs> so we can ask her? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <Yeah. laughs> but yes, the the beard oil I was using. Oh, it. lovely. Yes. But I need another bottle. I'm a klutz. I knocked it over twice. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I got four days out of it. <laughs> Yo, I'm such a klutz. It, eh? And I got the little eye drop oh, thing, man. So... But so I, like, I just put it on the top, but I forgot to screw mm. it. This dumb nigga knocked it over twice, man. <laughs> twice, not once, twice. I got like a, like a quarter uh, left, uh, three quarters of it left. All right, we'll hit it Wait, no, a quarter, yeah, a quarter left. <laughs> Because, like, can I go get it? Do I, got, well, I almost wanted it online, but I was like, let me talk to my plug. No, you can, you can order it online. I, anybody listening, if you're interested in something. Now, forget them. I don't want to pay shipping. I, can I get it from her? Or, or that's what I'm talking to you. All right, all right, all right. All right, baby. All right. They'll, all right. they'll get it. They'll get it their own way. How can I get it? All right, baby. I don't know. I'll hit her up and I'll find out. Please, brother, please. But if you're not Brother Bim and you, you're not a klutz, I'll hit up Salita Soap online. Salita Soap dot com and uh check out the products i believe if you um there's a promo code uh to get 10 percent oh off, shit. if i'm not mistaken i want to say it's pdt 10 but I oh get it right that. please yes how do you I'll, confirm you got any text uh, or something? yeah i have any text come uh, on don't be lazy <laughs> don't be lazy uh so don't be lazy. <laughs> i actually tried the the beard oil as well and um it, my beard was glistening and everything but i'm I'm not. Ooh. I I forgot to put it on like the following day, so was, I've been uh, doing it every other day. So I'm trying to get it. God, yeah, every yeah. day. Put it right next to your um, lotion, but oh, it, you don't use that either. <laughs> you should have done it right before you started recording because you got a camera on you. You're right there. Mm. You're right. But I actually been recording me doing it and like you know talking. This guy trying to be the model. Oh, he's he's, he's, he's trying to be in the listen, commercial, man. Because you know I'm trying to get exposure to her product for her. Jen, what you call yeah. Madiva? Huh? Honey. You call Madiva, right? That was definitely a diva. Look at him. He's like, oh, I'm just going to record myself, you know what I'm saying, in case you ever need, right. you know, additional advertising. Ha, ha. You know what I'm saying? Just put ah, me ah, in ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Actually, just PDT. No, no kind of like when he did the interview by himself with Redbone, Redbone Organic. I remember that. Remember that? I remember. Remember that? If I remember correctly, I was waiting on y'all. So, um, <laughs> make sure you hit her up. And then the soap, too. I wanted to speak about the soap real quick because, you know, I got dry skin. And, uh, soap, you know why it's dry? Because I don't put lotion on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bim. <laughs> so, uh, it smelled good. Mm-hmm. I like the the sand 
um did you did you try it no i haven't uh, used this so the exfoliant side? yes no, yes it's, okay. it, it adds a nice um like texture okay at uh, first, I was like, "Oh no, it's staying on my skin," and then it was like, "Oh, it's it kind of feels cool." Yeah. And then it smells really, really good. Mm. Um, so uh, that along with the beard oil, I was smelling, I was smelling good. This guy, good. you know, I had confidence, like a new man, a new man, like man. New man. I came in the bedroom. I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> <so> Sherry, <laughs> you, are you ready <laughs> for you. this?" And she, <laughs> are you ready? And she was asleep. So <laughs> that'd be a good commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, baby, are you ready? Beard or glistening and yeah. then snoring in the background. Yeah, snoring. Ah, okay. <laughs> Next time. Uh, so definitely I don't want to ask for head that comes to oh. me. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely shout out to uh, Salita Soap on that front. And the code was P-D-T. Like, for please you. delete this. To get 10%, 10 off. Yes. SalitaSoap.com. Yes. Right? Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... What else, Ben? Um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, we can't do anything. <laughs> so I have I haven't gone anywhere. I'm in the house. Mm. Oh yeah, it's like um. Well, everybody's binge watching things on Netflix. I feel like everybody's blowing through uh, everything on Netflix. So any any recommendations on things to watch? Okay, so um, guys, don't whoever's listening, I'm late to the party. I know. Fuck off. Anyways, <laughs> I would watch episodes here and there of this show, and I and I knew it was funny, but I just never stayed on top of it. But I've been watching, binge watching season ten of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, oh, oh my show. god, great oh. show! Yo, Larry David, he he used to oh, write for Seinfeld. Yeah, I never really fuck with Seinfeld like that, but I fuck with him. Mm. He is funny. Curb Your Enthusiasm. He's an old white man. Uh, almost like Seinfeld it's really a show about nothing but a show about him and mm. his fuck ups mm. this guy is great and hilarious yeah. yeah yeah. so Curb has been heavy for me I think I've only watched like like half a season one and okay. then I got sidetracked so you're not the only one yeah so you're what, only nine and a half seasons behind oh that's so it not, I mean, not that bad that's nothing yeah what's it about JB Smooth into it with Vivica Fox that shit was out of control JB is hilarious like i the, the the dynamic between the two of them like they're polar opposites and like the hood and then hollywood jewish writer because on the show they like he is him so he you know he right. looked, hey the writer of seinfeld is larry day my friend larry so their dynamic is is off the charts yeah off the charts mm. question mm. you work wives and work husbands Ooh. how you feel about them Ooh. um well uh jen you can't see it but uh if you would hear, you would just... <laughs> no, no. Um, you would backtrack. Actually, wh- what are your thoughts, Jen, before Darren and I contribute? I feel like... Um, people <laughs> cross the line. People cross the boundaries mm. um, more than necessary. Like, you're talking about, what's my work wife or my work husband? Like, why do you need one, first of all? Mm. And then they're going out outside of work Whoa, with them. that's different. And yeah. Oh, that's 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 too that's way too far. Yeah, when you like when that, you yeah. when you leave the door, when you swipe out, you're that's this should be a barrier. <laughs> what, what, as soon as you <laughs> clock out for the day, that's don't, right. Don't stops. call don't call me when I'm at home. Like you're not my actual husband or wife. Like don't Oh, so all you, of that is so the experiences you're no. talking about is different than what yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, that was much different than what I was thinking too. <laughs> what were you thinking? Oh, no, no, I was thinking like just uh um yeah, just like in work interactions and shit like that. Like uh, I, I see people on the on the Twitters and stuff saying, um, uh, "I brought my work husband a plate or some shit." Yeah, like no. yeah, you know I mean stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna be... don't bring don't bring my man no plate. Come on, that's oh, my it's, work no, husband. yeah. Oh, so Fuck that's you. yeah. So that's different. Oh, so you're talking about work wife, work husband while in a relationship. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. No, they there should only be one wife, one one husband, not a one, <laughs> <laughs> no prefix. Just huh. yeah. <laughs> huh. uh, so. Oh boy. I, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta be. I gotta be the one. Um. So it's not like I'm out here promoting work, work wife, work husband, right? Um. Mm. I guess like, speaking for myself, my wife knows the people at my job, and she knows the the relationships that I have, if if anything important. Uh, I'm trying to think if I ever had a work wife that my wife knew about in a way. 
in a, in a jokey joke way. If you can't think about it, it probably didn't happen. Probably didn't happen. Yeah. But I, I don't think I would have a problem with, with saying, like, um, this person at work is, is the one that's always bugging me about something. So I think work wife in my mind is, like, almost, like, close to a negative Right. <laughs> right. Now well, listen, listen, listen. Hey, Jen, I never know where he's going. I never know, and it's exciting. It is so exciting. Like, I mean it in a sense of like this person like is bothering me about things that I don't want to be bothered about. <laughs> I want this person to leave me alone. Oh, boy. It's nothing I'm ever happy about. It's oh, not like I'm like, oh, like I, I'm bringing this in for my work wife. Like I wouldn't, that wouldn't be a thing. It would be like she doesn't leave me alone at work. So yeah, that's that. All right. Can I tell you why one eyebrow that's like <laughs> pulsing? <laughs> oh, oh boy, <laughs> Darren is the greatest, though. I'm Darren Hive. Literally. I told niggas a long time ago, Darren Hive. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know the vibes. <laughs> I don't know the vibes, man. Uh, how about you, Ben? What do you think? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, 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 I got nothing. <laughs> not what yeah, you I think. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't share the sentiments of Darren. <laughs> I, I, I'm no one. No one's work husband. So oh, clearly, I wouldn't be a, 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 a. It's not a thing towards me. So it's nothing I ever have to worry about. Right? You would. You would file for divorce instantly. Yeah, we know. <laughs> but, if, but if somebody, yeah, if somebody's like, "Oh, this is my work husband," I'd be like, "Oh, how dare yeah. you?" Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Oh fuck! Yuck! <laughs> oh my god! Sorry. That was awesome. <laughs> In a way, Darren's like his his answer, although it sounds fucked up, is actually a good answer. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I, I follow. Because he's like, he's like, I don't see what's the big deal because I don't fuck with her. Right. Like, she's annoying. Right. Mm-hmm. But there's some people who go to work and they're like, oh, I get to flirt with this extra person. Yeah, no, no. Like, yeah, no, no, no. Right. Yeah, no. Yeah. And, that's, yeah. and those people go too far, but Darren's definitely not one of those no. people. Mm-mm. No. No. Yeah, and if single people doing that shit, like, that's fine because you're not. That's fine because pretentious- you're single and you're flirting and trying to find somebody, whatever. Right. And even if they're not interested in each other like that, you know, you could play around like that because there's no one else that mm-hmm. you could be, um, you know, hurting or, or, you know, causing concern with on the back end. So single people have all the work wives and husbands you want. Turn up. It's dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. But if you're in a relationship, <laughs> don't do that. That's mind, sure. mind your mind your manners. Yes. No. I, it's mind your behavior. That's a, that's a good topic, Jen, because I feel like that's something that you know we obviously we all work, and that's something that uh, everybody would deal with on some type of level. Because you spend more time at work than mm. at home. Isn't that gross? That's why I love being an that's individual. Crazy individual contributor as i'm called i don't really have to deal with anyone except my direct boss which is amazing <laughs> I, people put my head down walk in walk out like, oh, geez, my job is me and three other chicks <laughs> so whatever Sheesh. oh yeah so you ain't gotta worry about uh well i mean unless you know i don't know your personal life jen i don't know if you know you know you know <laughs> You know. I don't know. He's saying a lot of nothing. You know, you know. I don't know what you're saying. No, I mean you're not into women, so you wouldn't have that. No, kind I'm not into women. No. Yeah. No. Thank you for clearing that up for all those who may not know, like you. Yeah, no, yeah, because like, somebody in Jan Hive might get a little froggy. You know what I'm saying? Let them know, hey, nah, sis. You know nah, know sis. Mean? Tu sabe. Chill out. Mm-hmm. Next, Darren. Mm-hmm. What you got? Uh, nothing. Oh, I'm I thought you were looking at something. I'm looking for something. Oh, you're looking at <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, did anybody... Darren, you didn't mention the show that you're binging right now. Um, So, because my I have four children walking around, <laughs> I can't watch the shit that I really want to watch. And what is that? Um, But I'm trying to... Um, twine. I'm twying to, you know... <laughs> I don't think I said twine you at did. first. I did? Yeah, you did. Uh, I am trying... <laughs> Uh, what am I even trying to watch? I don't even know. Right, like animation. There is a show that me and Alexis are trying to watch. Um, My Hero Academia, but we're watching it together. Is that anime? Uh, it is anime. Okay, that's uh, why they like them Japanese boys. Wow! 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 The band they like the boy <laughs> yeah, yeah, band, right? right? Well, yeah. Alexis does like um, what are they called? B B B T S. Yeah, B, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> 
um, so so that's one thing we're trying to watch. But there's a couple other things. Like again, I get consumed and, and very uh, sidetracked. So obviously with the bathroom flying around still, we're like plugging at it, with, uh, plugging away at it every so often. And um, so Clara was watching the show All American, um, which she says is extremely good. Is that a football mm-hmm. show? Is yeah, with Tay Diggs, Tay in, Diggs it? in it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, Which uh, I think it's like a bad acting black show. Mm. That's, that's what I think, yeah. but I don't know. Um, there's a show called the, Oh Oh Hunters. 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 That's on Netflix. That is on Amazon. Oh, I saw that. You, you watched the whole thing? Yeah. Man. You finished it? No. I'm on like uh, episode three. I won't and if say I, anything. If I ever was scared of Russians, <laughs> this did not help. Uh, Russians or Germans? Germans. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So uh, a friend of mine at work, well, this guy I knew at work, Jason. <laughs> um, Jenny, still there? Yeah, she's still there, I guess. I don't know. It went silent. Uh, she may have muted yeah. us or something. She probably did. Uh, so... Um, the show, the way it sets up is, you know, pretty much Nazis are hidden among us in the world. And um, so I find myself watching it. I'm thinking, like, yo, this was a very dark, fucked up time in, in the world history, right? And I always wonder, the things that they depict happening in the show, how accurate are these? So um, uh, for scenes in the show... Hmm. They they do flashbacks right there yes, uh, yes. Uh, of um, uh, uh, the camps. concentrations camps in mm-hmm. Auschwitz um, mm-hmm. and what happened to to some of the uh, the captives of the um, concentration camp and mm-hmm. the horrors that happened because mm-hmm. there's some mess of stuff that they did so with the amount of people that were killed and gas chamber being the one that's like the biggest because the, the yeah. biggest the well known one imagine on a micro level the things that were probably happening which is I, I can't even man like ugh it's yeah so it's so I find myself of course wondering these things and it's like how I feel like we as human beings have such a capacity for greatness and in the same line have a capacity for like evilness yeah and it's like uh, uh. every every emotion is within us, right? Mm. So, like you were expressing last week, um, folks that complain a lot irk you. Yeah. Imagine, like, so there's different uh, triggers for people. Mm-hmm. So imagine having a trigger like um, their, you know, a, a race or or somebody's um, religion or something, and you're a good orator. You're somebody like a oh, Hitler okay. who can express that, mm-hmm. and then even the people who don't truly or strongly feel that way, they galvanize mm-hmm. behind your cause because you're that convincing. That was a good word. Thanks. That was a good use <laughs> of the word too. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Because uh, people could be sheep. There's the mom mentality, and then boom, just like that, you turn off folks. Even now, like with the um, Corona stuff, mm-hmm. there's people who would look at Chinese people and say, "Nah, I won't eat at your restaurant, or I don't yeah. fuck with you, or maybe even want to hit you mm-hmm. if you get too close to them." Mm-hmm. Like. Because that's how th- that switch just gets triggered. Yeah. So um, it exists, man, that capacity. <clears throat> I actually found myself, um, I, f- I felt like, <laughs> so in if, jumping from that, I was thinking about, uh, you know, the, the woman in the show who basically thinks she wanted to kill everybody and, you know, she was, she died and yada, yada, yada. And then I was thinking, like, I, got, I feel like I'm, I almost got overwhelmed with the thought of death. Oh, in a okay. way, it's, it's so it's gonna. I'm sure if Jen was here, she would mush me and tell me to shut up. <laughs> um, but I almost felt like um, I started reading. A, sorry, backtrack. As my mind is not hasn't put it together yet. Yeah. So I started reading this book called um, "Cry Like a Man." I was telling yep. you guys about it, and it deals with this guy's journey through growing up. He had such a difficult, hard life uh, growing up. And it caused him to be very closed emotionally and very stunted. And um, and then as he started to get older and da 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 things happened. And it, because of the way he was um, brought up and the things that he experienced, he was very closed off to it, da 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 He found religion. He found God and turned his life around and yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. Cool. But in that, in, in dealing with whatever he was dealing with, he basically said that he wasn't scared of things and that – caused him to not process things the right way and, you know, basically look death in the eye. Mm. And so in that, 
you know, he was like, I found religion and learned about the afterlife and, you know, da, 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 you got to get saved and da, 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 so we can live eternal. And in that thought, I was like, OK, so when we die, you know, the, the whole thing of religion is faith. Mm -hmm. You have faith that after you die, you go to either heaven or hell. Um, but the logical in me is like, what if that's not the case? You just die? Like, what's after that if not heaven or hell? What if there's no life? Whatever. Right. So, of course, it's what you believe. And I'm not asking you, like, to answer this. I know you, you're you a churchgoer and religious. And I think I am to some degree. But still, at the same time, I'm like, what really happens, like, after death? Like, could could death be it? Could it be nothing more than death? What do you think? I don't know. Because I grew up in the church and I know that side of it. Even outside of the church, <clears throat> like, what does your body tell you? What does, like, your mind and your body uh, connection so, tell you? So, I guess it. I can't see... I can't I can't fathom there being nothing more mm. when you die. Like I I can't fathom just you the end of your life is the end of your life and that's it. And I don't know if I can't fathom it because I'm just very small minded. Mm. But then it's like okay, so if there's if you can't fathom there's nothing more, then I of course I have to think of something that happens afterwards. Mm -hmm. And I think of if it's just me, I mean I could I could start a thing in my head and then tell the next person about it until they believe it's true and they tell the next person they believe it's true and mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. So I can go to my kids and be like, nah, after you die, you can't, there can't be nothing. You live and you go to a good place or you read, you get reborn into another life and yada, 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 yada. And so it's like, I don't know what I believe mm. because I'm always, I feel like I'm looking for the proof that that's what happened. Yeah. And I know scientifically religion doesn't depend on the, the proof of that. It's the, the what you, the faith part. Right. So I was sitting there for like 20 minutes like, yo, but what if what if you die and then there's nothing else? Mm. It's just darkness? But I mean, even if you knew it was darkness, you would still know. Mm. And that means you're still alive. And then, but but it, could it be just ending? Like, and if it was ending, what was it before? So mm. I just had to share that. Jen? I was high. Um, yeah, yes. I was high. <laughs> well, come on, tell us what you think, because I'm about to get in it. <laughs> um, I was thinking about it, because um, was it yesterday? Listening. Listening to something, it was like a, something I've heard before where it was just like, oh, I saw a picture of Adam and Eve, like a drawing, but they had belly, they had belly buttons. <laughs> and whoever it was, I think it was Dion Cole, he was like, why would they have belly buttons? Who cut the umbilical cord? Right. right? <laughs> and it is funny to me because I'm like, no matter what, it had to be a start somehow. Right. And it's like, how does this shit start? If there's no real start, then that's how, to me, proves it had to be a god who started the whole shit. Mm. And I don't know how it ends. And also, I've always, I wouldn't say always, but more recently I've been thinking that I think people's, when you're born, you're born genetically with, like, a certain color, a certain hair, a certain eye color. And you're also born with certain brain matter which is based off of your ancestors and your parents' experiences. You know what I'm saying? So somebody who's good at, for example, math, they have a baby, that kid already is born with certain brain waves or whatever that makes them genetically predisposed to be being good at math, right. where they can pick up on it quicker than somebody whose family was never good at it. That's just been something that I believed. Um, I believe it's more to it than we even know and we're ever going to be able to know and we shouldn't even have the ability to know um, what happens at death. Mm. It, I'm like Darren. I'm always like, I don't know um, what does happen. Do I become something else? Do I become another entity, another person? Do I get born as another baby in my same family? What, what happens? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, how could I know? But it, it's one of the things that I think about as well. Yeah, I would love to like three of us and like some cool listeners get around a fire and just pass something around, and just talk about this shit, man. And that's why I don't get high. You should, man, <laughs> brother. You would you would be three planets away right now, brother. You understand? It just, it, it's so. And it, sorry, because I want I want you to answer because I know you. I think of the three of us, you are the one that's m the most religious. Oh, it's, for me, it's not even fully religion. He be going to church, but I feel like religion plays a part into our beliefs of this. Um. So, oh, uh, oh, were you gonna say something though? So, I, I guess what doesn't help is the fact that there's so many different theories 
um, like, okay, so just to do, dive into the the theory that you're reborn or there was a life before you, mm -hmm. and so there are different things that I've read or that I've that makes sense. You know, like the whole deja. I don't know if you heard about the deja vu. That was going to be one of my points. When you have deja vu, it's like this was a past life that you saw or a future life that this happened in or something like that. And I'm like, yo, that makes sense. I could see that. Okay, so you you go. Tag, you're in. So kind of like um, what both of y'all were saying, because I, I, this is some of the shit I'll just sit and think about by, on, by myself, and I'll like debate my own uh, thoughts about shit because things are learned, right? Everything starts with the mind, your ability to process and, and take in shit. So, like you said, there's a religious component. For those who aren't religious, there's the perspective of atheists. For a Buddhist, you have their perspective. All things that we are learned or that are learned. Mm. And that's why I say, okay, outside of what you learn and what your brain, like, what do you feel? Mm. What does your body tell you? And then one side of me will say, that's where the um, deja vu comes in. That's where uh, people who have premonitions or people feel like... Um, like they were here before mm. and all of that. It's, uh, but is that also just something in the mind? Is that just like, like a, I don't know, brain waves shooting off, just giving you different types of information? And then it turns into that. But then like you said, you know, is it just darkness? But you would have to be conscious to know what darkness is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So is it not that? Is it what Jen said where, well, we, we came from somewhere. It wasn't just, unless you like subscribe to the big bang theory but even then like there's there's animals and there's insects and whatnot are we just here and then not or is that little thing that we feel different not connected to the mind it's a it, it's a soul mm. uh they say when people pass away like if you're watching them when they pass away it looks like their soul left them mm. now is that something i learned or is it really just their, their last breath yeah. you know what i'm saying like so it's all on how you think about it but I, th I think, like you said, uh, not so much religion, though. It's whatever path. Like, there's so many different paths that can explain mm -hmm. life and then death because you kind of have to put the two together and what is after that, you know. But all of it is only based on what we learn. So like Jen said, at the end of the day, we don't know shit, B. Hmm. You can go down this rabbit hole, debate it, but we you know what? Know we don't know shit. We don't know nothing, John Stone. Oh, man. And that's why uh, I think Jen, you mentioned we're too wise. We don't need to be. Mm. No, why do we need to know it? Why do we need to debate it? Just while you're here, mm -hmm. go through this life. Don't don't be a jerk while you're here, and that's mm. what that's most it. religions teach people. Yeah. So maybe it's not so much for the afterlife. Maybe that's something where they said that just to instill fear. Maybe it's just yo. While you're here, don't be a dickhead. The be end. Dick. <laughs> the because end. it matters for uh, people that are going to continue living. Mm. It matters for what you pass on. Mm like what Jen said, through your genetics and through those brain brainwaves, mm -hmm. because what you did here, if you were a dick, there's a good chance you're going to pass that to somebody else mm -hmm. through your actions. So maybe it only matters while you're here. Why are we debating what happens when we're not? Because mm -hmm. you live on mm -hmm. when you're gone anyways. So that is the afterlife, B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open your third eye below that. Come on, no. man. Come on, man. It's not open yet. <laughs> <laughs> It's just real, my G. Thank you for, I didn't think I would be able to have this type of conversation. Hey. And not see, no, no, no. <laughs> and not, and not, it, it not received well. Because, like, even I was, the more I thought about it, the more I felt like, like, yo, like, what is, what is it? Like, what is it? And I'm like, the more I'm asking, the more I'm like, I don't know. Like, who knows? Nobody can know. Right. And then I'm like, oh, well, that's the beauty of human life that you don't know what's after it. So it, it impacts how you live today. Right. So, uh, but dope. No, it's real. We don't know mm. shit. Man, I could do this all day. I ain't never told y'all about my um, uh, galaxy theory. No, no. I mean, <laughs> like is, we are our own this, galaxy. Is this the ant thing? Again? Did I? I said it? Is this the, you remember the episode uh, where we didn't record, it didn't, it didn't, the audio didn't pick up well and okay. we went into the whole oh that episode ants. i remember that yeah, yeah. yeah. we're yeah. ants and there's yeah. something bigger than oh, us yeah yeah that's the guy yeah so have this conversation so, again real quick uh for, for like for the listeners we we look up right um we we can look up at buildings you look up at somebody taller than you um then we can look up to clouds then we look up to stars and the, and the sun and all of that and then you get a telescope you can look out to other uh, other planets and other solar systems and, and whatnot and other galaxies. How small are we? Mm. We are microscopic in the grand scheme of things. Mm. Now, Darren, you are a god. Mm. 
You are a God. Jen, you are, you are a God. I'm a God. Why? Mm -hmm. we, we have our own galaxy, right? Because there's mm -hmm. a bunch of shit living in us. Oh. Our skin is alive, right? Our cells are alive. If Corona's floating around in somebody, that, that thing is alive. All within. Mm -hmm. So imagine, right? Because we only we only apply our own shit. We eyes, nose, mouth, all that shit. But what if through the other senses or whatever it is, those those mic uh, uh, whatever things in us have their own life, and they're like, "Yo, what's going on up there? Why are we jostling around?" Well, somebody's jogging. You know what I'm saying? Why do I feel? Why does this part of the body doing this? Why is blood rushing over here? It's because I don't know, people are having sex. You know what I'm saying? Like that. There's activities going on within us that's like, "Yo, who's controlling us?" You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We are we are we are the galaxy. We are God, yo. See? Like I was saying in that same episode, to us we are like the big thing in the universe, but what if there's like a person bigger than us who's like to us we're like the ants. Mm. Mm. Come on, man. Yeah, we, and they're like, Oh, look at them just walking around, but really we got a whole civilization that we be looking down at ants. Mm. Like, oh look at them just walk around, we be stepping on them, but they got an actual whole civilization. They got their own news channels and See? they got their own schools, they have their own and the ants got something smaller than them, like the little cells in the mitochondria, and they be looking down on them. And you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just real. That's how I know that mm -hmm. I've grown because I was so annoyed with you two having this conversation <laughs> the first time. <laughs> and now I'm sitting there like, <laughs> look at your evolution. In, in your body, there is a universe. Come on, man. It's kind of like, um, you remember um, Men in Black? Yep. At the end of it, when um, they show you the animation. Yeah, it's just like that. Into that little, the uh, little marble. Like it was like a, like the galaxy was like a, like the middle of a marble, right. and there was like thirteen marbles. Yep. And the alien just grabbed it all and, and just put it in the sack it. and just. Yes. Wow. That we have, we know nothing, and the more we try to learn, we just figure out we, there's more to learn. Yeah. So why are we going crazy, going to the moon, doing all this shit? We are never gonna know everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. things help, but we're, you're never gonna know everything. But that's man's thirst for knowledge, and that's why we fall. Oh, Adam and Eve. Yo, yo, Come on, yo, man. Yo, Jen. Yo, Jen. <laughs> Jen. Man, we gotta yeah, stop. We got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 going nowhere. Jen. Man. It's real. Yeah. This guy's this guy deep. That, do animals seek okay. knowledge? You're right. They don't. Right? They don't. Yeah. They, just, they just live in. They just live. It's, you know, there's Darwinism's yeah. going on, right? There's natural selection and stuff, but for the most part, they just here. Are the ants destroying the planet? We're the only ones destroying this planet. You know what I'm saying? Because the the seeking, seeking. It's we know. I feel like if Gina's listening, she's like, "Oh God, <laughs> no, who gave him an edible? <laughs> <laughs> this shit again." Because I, I I be trying to talk to her about it, but I don't know if she connected. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if her her, her eye fully dilated. You know what I'm saying? Her third eye isn't dilated. <laughs> Perfect, Jen. Perfect. <laughs> Virtual high five. <laughs> that's deep. Oh, shit. Man, that was deep. Shit's real, bro. Oh. Nah, man, for real. Oh. For real. And then same thing is I love having the conversations, but at, when you realize that we don't know shit, uh, I think Jen dropped off again. Oh, there she go. When you realize that you don't know shit, it's freeing in a way. It allows you to have the conversations without like a heated debate. No, mm. this is this. Yeah. No, we don't know. Yeah, there's there's no know. there's no fight to be right. Right. Just right. Just be a good person, man. Yeah. That's all it boils down to. Mm. Look out for each other. Yo, Ben, man. Cigars. We got. We got cigars. I, I'm saying when the I Corona's know. done, we getting cigars, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We got a link, yo. Hmm. Actually, all my guys, man. Nick, yes, K, indeed. when we can when we can come home, when we can leave, let's let's do this, man. Come let's on. Leave. Shit. Uh, anything else? Um, Jenny, got anything? Um, I already brought up the work husband that worked on Abe's. She over, she over there eating. <laughs> she, I that am. is so comfortable in her, her basketball shorts. <laughs> First of all, the Tech Fleece shorts. Oh, you right. Get it right. right. Those right. are right. expensive. I bought them on sale. Wow, okay, you still rich, rich. <laughs> oh, tough. You know what? <laughs> nah. Um, anything going down this weekend? Um, just more quarantine. No, yeah. Oh yeah. shit, there really isn't. Damn. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh every, everything is closed. At my job, you know, we primarily work with hotels, and they're pretty much uh, gonna close the doors to most hotels by next week. Wow. They 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 laid off a shitload of people. Yeah. They like my that job. Yeah, it, and it's that's the part about this where I'm like, damn, this sucks. 
Um, so at my mm-hmm. at my job, the company, we, we, although we're IT, we work for the company where in their building mm-hmm. and so they are although we're okay within ourselves they are like just letting people go like yeah. like just like a ton of people that have been there for like 5 10 15 years gone and they're doing that uh at least i was seeing lay people off so that they can collect unemployment because the yeah. companies can't afford to pay without yeah. revenue yeah. coming in yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um so, and it's, it's the the people at the hotel so right now we're where most of the people that we're working with or for, they're working on a skeleton crew. Mm. So it's for us, it's good because, um, you know, there's a need for people to work from home and they, they need the IT support, so we're there for that. Um, but it also sucks because um, those people that are working on skeleton crews, they can't afford to pay us, so they're reluctant to call us or yeah. for us to go on site to fix things. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, so that that is the impact of this coronavirus. That I'm like, this sucks. Like I I understand mm-hmm. the being me feeling the overreaction from the health from the health standpoint. Yes, but when it's impacting the economy the way it is, that that sucks. And that's why I was saying it's a big deal when the NBA was shutting uh, mm-hmm. postponing. Right. You know, and you couldn't really feel because you don't play ball. Yeah. You still got work. Now yeah. your work yeah. may feel it's the brunt. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's why it's like, yo, thumbs mm-hmm. up. Yo, I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And kids running around the house on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> These two little kids do not stop. Mm. Um, but the, besides Trump calling it the Chinese virus because he's <laughs> fucking ignorant. Fucking idiot. That guy's hilarious. I wish he wasn't the president so I could laugh at his stuff more. <laughs> like it wasn't right. like ruining people. <laughs> Did he really say people are dying who haven't died before? Yes. <laughs> he definitely did. <laughs> he qualifies every statement. It fucking drives me crazy. Like when he, I, I don't know if y'all saw the clip where he's talking about his uncle who was like a professor and he was like the greatest professor. Like he can't just say my uncle was a, a professor or a scientist. He says he was a scientist and the top scientist, by the way, at the university. Like wasn't close. Just say it. Move your story along, friend. Move the story forward you don't need the fucking discre- it's so unnecessary i don't like him <laughs> story along <laughs> shit he would never die before he would, definitely said would, yeah, never die <laughs> what there are people dying that haven't died before like what it's like he's giving himself time to think like he, he has, his brain has to ah, catch up that's with what himself. it is that's what he's trying to play out the next phrase <laughs> the, shit. the little things <laughs> working in his brain say more words we're getting there just say words <laughs> Pulling all the levers and shit. Mr. Together. President, what do you think about this? What do I think? <laughs> what words? <laughs> Say words. I think. I mean, this is a great time to think. <laughs> <laughs> <A> great time. <laughs> so, if I had to think about what I was thinking, I would think. Oh, we're ready. Go. <laughs> Got it. Ah, ah, yes. <laughs> Give me the cue card. <laughs> Fucking guy, man. Oh, God. Uh, that's your president. Uh, fuck. It's <laughs> different, man. Well, definitely we hope all our, our listeners are staying safe and staying healthy out there. I know Please. it's a tough time to be trapped in the house. Maybe you hate your family, uh, but <laughs> you're learning things about yourself and your family which you did not want to know before. But we actually hope that. Maybe you miss your work wife or your husband. Ah. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you guys are staying safe and staying sane during this difficult time. Um we're all in this together, you know, the, hum- the human experience. Yes. So, and do your part and stay the fuck home. Yes, don't, please. Don't be a dick. I mean, there's Damn. people worse than. <laughs> I'm at Darren's. There's less than ten people here. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the whole no more than twenty five people getting together in a group, and I was like, all right, so there's twenty four of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's <is> true. <laughs> Things like ah. Oh, you right, the news right, when the, the mayor was talking about different establishments that have violated that, and one of them being strip clubs. Oh yes, yes, I saw. Yeah, uh, yeah. And they was... were like, oh yeah, lap dances is definitely not. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you need clarification, you know, <laughs> if you didn't say it. Why, why, why do we need, why, 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 why do we need that to be we, clarified? We need clarification and this confusing and, and unclear time. Be like, right. Hey, but the door was open. Right. The door was open. <laughs> it said open. And they were working and stuff, yeah, so, so I just went. I just came in. Because a lot of days is really just two people, which is less than ten. Come that's on fine. now. Come on with I it. Mean, they, it's like a handshake, right? No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just without your hands. Why are you shaking? Um, <sighs> anyway. I ain't got nothing yeah. else. I guess that's it. Jen, anything on your text? 
now I'm about to go get a snack. Job bless. I'm going to go home and eat. I'm hungry. Yeah. So, people, we will, we will uh, talk to you guys next week. Make sure you follow us on, on social media. Uh, we are trying to push out some funny content. I actually wanted to share something, but it was kind of obscene. Um, Couldn't have been that bad. The one I shared in the group. Which one that was you that? like, oh dear. Oh, put, the, put it on the story. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I got I like permission it. from them. <laughs> and so, it was a sink. What's the problem? It was. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely uh, stay safe. Catch up. Take the time to catch up on things. Catch up on life. Spend spend quality time with your friends and not your friends, but your family. Nah, fuck yeah. that. Catch up on episodes of Please Delete life. This by yourself. <laughs> Just binge watch us on YouTube. Yes, have unprotected <laughs> sex. Yeah, all of that. Yeah. And 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 ponder ponder your meaning in life and oh. and and where you are in this universe. Actually, if anyone has um any insight or or any comments or has had this conversation, the conversation we yes. had about life and the galaxy and yes. us and all we of that, urge and after, you to add to it. please hit us up, man. Yeah, we ain't doing shit else. No. <laughs> let's talk, man. Let's, yeah. let's have let's some get, fun. Let's get a group conversation going. Yeah, I like that shit. Yeah, yeah. Shout shout out to uh, Mark Rubier. The, the the clip that you're playing the song oh, oh. I love that guy <laughs> quarantine <laughs> fucking tonight yeah, yeah. alright Jen we'll talk to you later peace Jen say bye to the people right, goodbye people have a good week Woo-hoo. bye see y'all next week bye